What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakir and you are watching SSTech Tutorial. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily install Kali Linux operating system step by step on your computer. To install Kali Linux operating system on your computer, first of all, you have to make a bootable USB. Here, using this USB, I make a multiple OS bootable USB. If you don't know how you can create a multiple OS bootable USB, then I have separate video on this channel. I will link that video in this video description. So watch that video and create your own multiple OS bootable USB. Using this single USB, I can install multiple OS on my computer. So make sure to watch that video and create a bootable USB for you. Then follow me to install Kylinux operating system on your computer. Now guys, connect your USB drive on your computer. Then restart your computer. Then while your computer will restarting, press the boot menu key on your keyboard. It will open up your boot menu on your computer. Okay guys, now you can see my computer screen and my boot menu. Now from here you have to select your USB pen drive. Make sure to select the UEFI this one. Then press enter and you should get this Ventoy boot screen if you create multiple OS bootable USB like me. Now from here select your Kylinux installer image or ISO file and press enter. Then select the boot in normal mode and press enter and you should get this Kylinux installer screen. Now from here select graphical install and press enter. Now from this screen you have to select your language. I am going to keep it English then click on continue. Then select your location and click on continue. Then you have to configure the keyboard layout or key map layout. I am going to keep it American English then click on continue. And now it should detect and mount the installation media from the USB drive. It gonna take some time so you have to wait until mounting has been completed. Here you can see now it loading the additional components. It also takes some time. Now if you have connected any LAN cable with your computer which comes from your Wi-Fi router, then this Kylinux installer will automatically try to configure it. If you don't, then you have to manually configure it later. Then in this screen you have to type a host name for your computer. I am going to keep it Kali, then click on continue. You can keep this domain name blank, then click on continue. And now here you need to type a username. Remember guys, this will be your user account for your Kylinux computer. Then click on continue. Make sure your username is correct. Then click on continue. Then here you need to type a password. Remember guys, this username and this password will be used to log in into your Kylinux machine. Then click on continue. Then on this screen, configure your clock or time zone. I'm going to keep it stern. Then click on continue and it should automatically detect your disk drive of your computer. Here you will get couple of options like use the largest continuous free space, use entire disk and manual. I have only connected one single SSD with my computer and I am going to install this Kylinux operating system on this SSD drive. So I am going to select use the entire disk. But if you try to install dual boot, then you have to select the guided one or the manual one. If you don't know how to dual boot with Windows 11 and the Kali Linux, you can comment down below to this video and I will make a separate video about it. So as I mentioned before, I have connected only one single SSD and I am going to entirely use this disk for Kali Linux operating system. So I am going to select the use entire disk, then click on continue. And now here you need to select your SSD or disk drive. I am going to select this 128GB SSD, then click on continue. Then make sure to select all files in one partition. Then continue and now here you can see this Kylinux installer automatically create partition on my disk. This is my SSD and here is all the partition. Then make sure to select finish partitioning and write changes to disk. Then again click on continue. Then select yes, write the changes to disk. Then continue and it should automatically format all the partition and it should start installing the base system. It gonna take some time so you have to wait until the base system installation has been completed. Okay guys, now after some time you will get this screen. By default Kylinux include XFC desktop environment but you can select the GNOME or KDE Plasma. I am going to keep it the defaults. Then click on continue and it should start installing the Kylinux operating system on your hard drive or disk. It gonna take some time so you have to wait until the installation has been completed. You don't have to do anything else. Just sit back and relax. Okay guys, 
Now when the installation has been completed, you have to click on continue and it should restart your computer. Here you can see my computer is restarting and now from here select the Kali and here you can see the Kali Linux screen. Now you have to type the username and password whatever you said during the installation. So my username was Mehdi Shakil then my password then press enter and you will log in to your Kali Linux machine. Like this you can easily install Kali Linux operating system using the USB pen drive with any desktop computer or laptop. So guys that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I am Mehdi Shakil, you are watching this tech tutorial and I am signing off.